all right so finally we are to this beast right here now this one i personally love is whose product uh you can see that i got both the board and the graphic card from asus i actually did the same thing with my build i have a b450 from asus and uh, it's running asus air uh, r9 yep it's about uh, seven eight years old graphic card running superb and i love it i just checked it it's actually 4 gb but this one is a massive beast 12 gb memory and I wasn't going for this one but unfortunately all the miners they are gamers whatever they took all the decent cards below this and these were on the actually this was the only card for uh, in the under thousand mark it's uh, it was 899 everything else was above thousand and there was a gigantic card for 2450 wow all right, so like I said, I like Asus products. Uh, this actually the box, is, even the box is nicer. Now, if you can see the minimum system requirements, it's eight pins. So make sure that you have the power supply with the eight pins. Basically, you connect two one two powers into that. Uh, a buddy of mine he made the mistake many years ago and uh, actually we had to order the power supply for him later on now this the the, the card i have uh it has two giant fans and at the time when our series were coming out like r789 uh i'm forgetting the other name it was gigabyte probably or some other manufacturer they were putting three cards asus went with two and i had all three cards from three, three different manufacturers the uh, asus card was constantly at 95 uh, uh what it was far no not far high i probably far right so basically it was at least six degrees hotter than the card that had three fans so I got this one because it has it has three otherwise I will tell them now don't get this one the cards I don't really don't like this uh, you constantly have to have that uh, air uh, um, that uh, compressed air to clean them because if you don't do it for a very long time it really clogs up and then no amount of air will uh, remove that you basically actually have to break the warranty um, unscrew those tiny little screws remove the path this plate and then take care of it but 12 gb really really uh, great I, I, over there i uh, when we're buying it um, i did not uh, notice this 12 gb i was in, under the impression that it's six but just now uh, when i was placing everything i realized and i was like okay then <laughs> i don't feel that bad uh, getting that guy 800 a uh, 900 dollar card so it is overclock edition i was like basically this is why i said okay what the hell are you getting everything that's uh overclockable let's get this as well now the cool things right here display port hdmi compatible so now i don't feel that bad about that card and i'm i'm just now i'm realizing that i will end up keeping that motherboard because all the displays we're gonna get from here we're not getting any display from the uh, board itself so it has two hdmi and two display port i like the display port and uh, that's it so another card is exactly the same shape that I remember putting them in 4G 48 Celsius 43 Celsius so maybe it was actually 95 Celsius anyway I, I don't remember it was a long long time ago all right so th this is the fun stuff do you see this 650 watt uh, again um, I'm four minutes into the video and I cannot tell it's this is not a, an unboxing video my apologies i should have said that at the very beginning but 
we are not unboxing it right now we're just waiting for the memory to arrive before we unbox and build all right so for the 650 make sure most of the people they make this mistake they don't get the powerful enough power supply to handle uh, what's everything that's going into their um, system some people they just go and grab whatever is up front and mostly up front you have a power supply that's 650 750 or 850 do not get even 850 because if this piece is getting 650 and everything else is getting itself and you're calculating hey it's still under 850 uh, you are not uh, compensating the 80 plus gold where you actually not getting 100 percent of that load you are getting only 80 percent and rest of them is basically converting into heat and just dissipating away so make sure you get at least thousand i personally i go with 1300 in my system i have 1300 but uh, we cannot find any 1300 at micro center so micro center what's up what's going on <laughs> are you gonna blame it on the chip shortage all right so just kidding micro center i love you <laughs> all right so 8 gb 8 gb of system memory so basically yeah, it these cards they go back and forth with the actual memory ram so make sure you have enough uh, and i in my builds i always make sure that it's at least 30, 32 that's the minimum uh, right now a few years ago I, I had it at 16 and now i'm doing uh, all of them with 32 okay so what's next we can see free sync technology 7 nanny, uh, nm gpu that's impressive and of course it's from amd that's why uh, for comparison i think uh, intel is still stuck at 12. <coughs> i hope there is no intel fanboys i like amd better all right so yep uh, minimum system requirements same thing i think we went through with them before already all right so let's wrap this video here i hope this video uh even though it wasn't an unboxing video uh it just gave you a feel my apologies uh, uh once again but uh we will unbox it yes we will make those videos uh probably next week uh just waiting for the ram to arrive all right uh, please rate comment subscribe and share and i will see you in the next one